Welcome to Creepy, the best horror storyteller on YouTube. The whirring of the air conditioning was the only constant companion in Ethan's sterile white room. Every muscle in his body tensed with anxiety every time the fluorescent lights flickered. The email he'd sent, a desperate cry for help launched into the digital void, felt like a lifetime ago. He'd been here for what felt like weeks, ever since the men in hazmat suits stormed his apartment. The initial confusion had morphed into a chilling dread. The doctors, faces obscured by masks, spoke in hushed tones about containment and aggressive treatment. But the treatment? Nothing more than isolation and endless blood tests. One day, a new face appeared behind a thick plexiglass barrier. Dr. Anya Petrova, her eyes a startling blue against her dark hair, introduced herself as his primary caregiver. Unlike the others, she spoke directly to him, her voice surprisingly gentle. Ethan, she said, we understand you're scared, but we're doing everything we can. He scoffed. Everything? You haven't even told me how long I have. Dr. Petrova's smile faltered. The ellipsovirus is a new strain. We're learning as much as we can. Ellipsovirus. The words sent shivers down his spine. It was a joke, a caption on a Facebook post about a weird rash on his hand. Now, it was his death sentence. He remembered the frantic scramble for information after the men took him. Ellipsopox, a disease nobody had ever heard of, with symptoms eerily similar to his own. And the mortality rate? 100%. Days bled into weeks. The only break in the monotony was Dr. Petrova's visits. She brought him books, talked about his life before the quarantine. A life that now seemed like a distant dream. One evening, she arrived looking troubled. Ethan, she began hesitantly, there's something I need to tell you. His heart hammered in his chest. What is it? There have been other cases. Her voice dropped to a whisper. More than just you. A flicker of hope ignited within him. Maybe he wasn't he alone. Maybe they could find a cure together. But Dr. Petrova's next words extinguished that hope like a snuffed candle. They didn't survive. Her voice cracked. They all died within 24 hours of showing symptoms. The news hit him like a physical blow. The weight of his impending doom pressed down on him, suffocating. He spent the next few days in a daze, haunted by the ghosts of the unknown victims. One night, a piercing alarm jolted him awake. Red light strobed, bathing the room in an ominous glow. Dr. Petrova rushed in, her face pale. Ethan, we need to move you. Now. Confusion warred with a primal fear. He stumbled after her, his legs shaky. They ran through sterile corridors the shrill alarm a constant companion. Finally, they reached a heavily reinforced door. Dr. Petrova fumbled with a keypad, her hands trembling. The door hissed open, revealing a dimly lit chamber. A lone figure stood in the center, his back to them. He turned, and Ethan froze. It was a man from his Facebook feed, the one who had commented on his ellipsopox post, a man presumed dead. So... You're the Zero patient, the man said, his voice raspy. Welcome, Ethan. We've been waiting for you. Panic clawed at Ethan's throat. What was going on? Before Dr. Petrova could react, the man lunged. A struggle ensued, a blur of movement and shouts. Then, a sickening thud. Dr. Petrova lay crumpled on the floor, a syringe clutched in her hand. The man turned to Ethan, a chilling smile spreading across his face. Don't worry, Ethan, he said, his voice dripping with malice. You're not here for a cure. You're here to be part of something much bigger. The revelation crashed over Ethan like a tidal wave. This wasn't about a disease. It was about something far more sinister, a secret experiment gone horribly wrong. He was trapped a pawn in a deadly game he didn't understand. As the man approached, a vial glinting in his hand. Ethan knew his desperate email was his only hope. 
Maybe someone, somewhere, would see it. Maybe someone would understand. His life, and perhaps the lives of countless others, depended on it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more similar horror stories.